right, we're gonna see if this works. Finger in the air. And uh, live on Facebook. I wanna see if I can actually get a ticket to the sold out show, uh, which is David Blaine. Which, I'm thinking, it's gonna happen. Why? One, because there's at least five or ten of you that know David, that know that you could get me in. That would be one way. The other way would be hopefully that somebody that walks up to me and goes, hey, we have an extra ticket. Our friend didn't show up. I'm hoping. Listen, you know, anything. Yes, dear. Where, where can I go? I'm just asking for a free ticket. I'm not, so I'm not buying one. Wait, you still, you gotta stand on it like Okay, okay, do you want me to like right over? Oh, really? Love you, thank you, dear. Okay, so I just got confirmation now, this is really cool, that the officer behind me, she said that if anybody gives her a ticket, she will give it to me, so that's a good. So the next thing is now we'll have to see if I get a free ticket. If somebody gives the officer one, like, hey, we have an extra free ticket, we didn't know who to give it to, and the officer's like, well, there's that guy over there with his finger up in the air and he wants one, then, you know, maybe I'll get one. And if not, we'll see what happens. So I was trying, I made a video, by the way, recently, which was like, hey, if you want a, a free ticket, all you have to do is go to a concert and put your finger in the air. And if you put your finger in like this, just like this, and you're like, hey, I want a free ticket, blah, 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 right? Then somebody, because what usually happens, and I'll explain this, what usually happens is that people will go and buy four or five tickets, and somebody in the group will always not be able to show up, and they'll have an extra free ticket. Instead of throwing away the ticket, they usually give it to somebody. And uh, this way, you don't get in any trouble, and you get a free ticket. Now, I've done this, I don't know how many hundreds of times, uh, going to shows. So every time I go to a show, uh, before I buy a ticket, which this one's sold out, but before I buy a ticket, I do whatever I can, put my finger up in the air, and say I want a free ticket. Hopefully, somebody gives me a free ticket. Right now, it looks kind of dead. Like, I don't know if you can see this. It's an hour before showtime, and it looks kind of dead. Uh, but David Blaine is performing tonight here in New Orleans. And so I figured I really wanted to go see the show. And I, I didn't want to, like, ask anybody for a ticket, even though I know a couple... Like, I know Ossie Wynn is performing tonight, but I don't really hang out or talk to Ossie Wynn very often, even though he's a friend of mine on Facebook. And I really didn't want to be like, yo, dude, you know you're performing, get me a ticket, because that's kind of weird. Now, if I would have known David, and I would have been friends with David uh, more so uh, in some other way where I would have hung out with him more often, I would have been like, yo, bro, I'm in town. He would have been like, yeah, whatever. That's different. But, like, he's like, you know, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm hoping for a free ticket into David Blaine. Finger in the air. Fingers in the air. I want a free ticket. But I've already been told that if and when somebody does give a free ticket to the police officer, she is going to give it to me. So that's that's actually kind of cool. How are we doing, man? You know, I should do magic for my free ticket in front of... No, that's not nice. Uh, so we'll hope. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that somebody will give me a free ticket. And then I'll get into the show. And if that happens, that'd be fun. I hope you guys enjoy my antics. It's been a long time. I performed today. I was performing today. Hey, Sterling Steele, how you doing? Thank you for joining and saying hello. Uh, I was performing in the street today. It was kind of fun I, uh, with Lucky Lazia. If you don't know who he is, add him on my Facebook. I'm with a finger in the air trying to get a free ticket. To David Blaine's show at the Sanger Theater here in New Orleans, so we're going to hope somebody will give me one. Now, I've already been told by the police officer, though, that if somebody does give her a free ticket, that she will give it to me. So my chances have already increased, folks. See, it's, it's a very simple thing, right? Just put your finger in the air. Say, hey, man, I want a ticket. And people will be like, yo, dude, I'll give you a ticket. You know, that's all it is. I swear that's what happens. So finger in the air. Hopefully somebody doesn't show up tonight. I mean, I, I don't want them. It's not that I want... You know what I mean? I'm just saying, hopefully for me, I get it, because then I'll get to go into the show. So we're here at the Singer Theater. It's New Orleans, Louisiana. This is Paul Carpenter, and uh, I'm hoping to get a free ticket into the show. If you know anybody who might know somebody, who knows somebody, who might know somebody, who might know somebody, like Six Degrees of David Blaine, you know, share the video. I'll be like, yo, David, Paul Carpenter's outside of your you know, show right now with a finger in the air trying to get a free ticket to your show because he's a cheap ass. <laughs>
Well, that and they're sold out, and I couldn't get one. So I'm still trying to get a ticket. I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to do it anyways. I mean, I figure, listen, I got nothing better to do. I already worked all day, and I'm not really in the pursuit of wanting to, like, you know, I really, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not going to, I don't want to get in any trouble either, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you put your finger in the air, <laughs> and you ask for a free ticket. Hopefully, hopefully somebody will give me one. I'm happy. I have a really good feeling, honestly. I'm not even kidding that there's going to be a, like a couple free seats, and that I might get into the show tonight, even though it's sold out. Possible free shit. <laughs> yeah, cat. No, no doubt. Possible free shit. I do see people. I do see people looking around, like they're looking for other people to show up, and they're not showing up. So that's a good thing, right? I mean, I'm I'm sorry for the person who's not showing up for whatever reason they weren't able to show up to the show, but for that person who doesn't show up. I hope that I get their ticket. Possible free shit. Hashtag. It is a beautiful day here in New Orleans, though. Let me let me let me show you guys. I'll, I'll spin it around for you. There's New Orleans. This is Canal Street right here, one of the most famous streets in uh, New Orleans. And this is Basin. So we are on Canal and Basin. Now, if you know anything about the streets around here, this street, which is called Canal was actually going to be filled with water. And so was this one right here called Basin. So it was gonna have like, um, they were gonna have a moat around the entire city so that people couldn't get in, right? So, so trying to get a free ticket to the show. <laughs> I'm a crazy fuck. So I have my finger in the air and we're hoping that somebody will walk up to me and be like, yo, do you need a ticket? And I'll be like, yeah, dude. And he'll be like, yo, bro, free ticket, bro, for you, bro. And I'll be like, shut the fuck up, bro. And then I'll probably go crazy, and uh, I'll show everybody, hey, I got a free ticket by just putting my finger in the air. I want to see if anybody else will attempt doing this, you know, throwing their finger up in the air and saying, hey, I want a free ticket, and putting it on Facebook of all that things. All the other things, yeah, that's the, that's the, like, the, yeah, that's just like, a, did he really, he's really putting his finger up in the air on Facebook. This guy doesn't give a shit about anything, does he? So, um, but once again, good news is that the police officer said if anybody walks up to her and gives her a ticket, which happens very often. My friend last week was here for Journey, and he didn't have a ticket, and a police officer walked up to him and gave him one. So I'm, 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 I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic that it's possible. I've done it before. That's also another thing that I kind of know that it's going to happen, because once again, I have done it in the past, and it works. And usually people are really nice about it. Shauna Gates, congratulations, my dear, on your baby. I love you. Colin Gilmartin says hello as well. All right, so uh, once again, finger in the air, hoping to get a free ticket to the show. It might happen. Yeah, I never knew how much it hurt to hold your hand up in the air this long. My arm's getting tired. Switching, switching. That's, that's why I've been switching, because fuck that. Have you ever tried this? Hold your finger, out and finger, finger up like this. With, uh, with your hand in the air for like an extended period of time, like, I don't know, like a minute or two. It sucks. So, all right, so for those who just joined in, I am at the Sanger Theater in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm outside of the theater. I'm trying to get free ticket to the David Blaine show. It's sold out. So I'm hoping, I'm, get, I'm begging that somebody is, is say, hi Samantha I liked your wedding your stuff that you're looking for your wedding the places you're going I really like that place with the fountain um, so I am trying to get a free ticket so I figured what I would do is I would hold my finger in the air this is not illegal by the way this is totally legal uh, to hold your finger up in the air I'm not going to buy a ticket I will not do that that's illegal so and uh, I, I will only accept a free ticket if they want to give me one but um, who knows so um, if anybody has any questions or comments, you can give them to me now. Look at that. The Powerball, Powerball is at 187 million. And I think it's kind of scary, huh, that you can win like 300 or 500 million dollars from just doing a lottery. You know, like you didn't have to work for it or anything. And there's like homeless people. I don't know. It's just weird. Hey, thanks, Kent. We're going to do it, bro. 
that I think I'm sure mad at me for wanting to get a free ticket to David's show. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I feel it. Free ticket. It's coming up. And we'll see if we can get one. I mean, you never know. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I know there's people on my Facebook that know people who know people who know people. Like, well, I'm not going to mention names. But there's people out there. You all know who you are. Make a phone call. Be like, yo, David, hey, get this guy a ticket. You never know. It could work. David, like, yeah, man, we got a couple extra VIP tickets, blah, 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 crappy, crappy. That guy didn't show up. You know, there's always extra seats at a show. You know, they say it's sold out. It's never really sold out, by the way. They just have to say that. Finger in the air. Finger in the air. I'm going to stay here until the show starts. I am I am dedicated to, to hopefully getting a free ticket. Now, mind you, I don't know if you noticed this, but I've been holding my hand, my phone. So I'm actually holding like two hands up in the air. So, you know, one recording my face while I'm talking to you guys and the other one with my finger in the air. So I'm really not getting any kind of rest for either one of these hands. This is not comfortable. It's just not switching. For those of you who have stayed with me for this long, thank you for all that enjoyment that you're having with me. Uh, if you're having any enjoyment. Um, still, finger in the air. Finger in the air. Trying to get a ticket to the show. We'll see if we can get a ticket to the show. Now they're going to come videotape shit, so I'm going to walk away. I think they're let's, let's watch what they're videotaping. Some some kind of crazy shit. Here we go. News crew. No, it's the David Blaine crew. And I guess they're going to film some people who are coming in to the show. I can't really think of anything else that they would be filming. Unless David's like showing up through the front door, which would be just really weird. Because you would think that he'd be already here. I mean, that's what I would think. I think the guy's inside. I'm here at the Sanger Theater trying to get a free ticket to the show, to a sold-out show at David Blaine here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Finger in the air. You never know till you try. But once again, the good news is that the police officer said that if anybody gives her a free ticket, that she will give it to me. So, like, I'm already, like, that gives me, like, a skyrocket to at least 60% from the, from the shitty 10% that I probably had from a sold-out show, right? It's getting thick. People are starting to show up. Any moment now, we might get a free ticket. Hi guys, uh, whoever's joining, hello, and thank you for joining and saying hello to me today. I am at the Singer Theater, I'm trying to get a free ticket, and my friend's calling, we're hanging up on it. Um, hang up, sir. Very good. So I'm trying to get a free ticket. When does the show start? I think it show starts in 45 minutes, something like that. Um, but like I said, I've been given good news by the police officer. She said that if anybody gives a free ticket or if somebody like says, oh, we have some left over, and she gives it to the police officer, police officer said she would give it to me. So I'm totally stoked on that. Uh, hi, Clarissa. How you doing today? So uh, I am, I'm trying to get a free ticket to the show. <laughs> it's sold out. I wanted to buy one, but I couldn't even buy one. So I figured I would try this next. This is how to get a free ticket at a show. I put a video out on YouTube recently on how to do this, and people didn't believe me, so I figured I would do it live and prove that you can get a free ticket to a concert by just holding your finger up in the air and saying, I want a free ticket, repeatedly. Or talking to a camera and keep saying that you want a free ticket repeatedly. And hopefully somebody hears you, or they see that, oh, hey, look, that guy looks like he's totally screwed and he doesn't have a free ticket. 
We should go give him one. That guy, yeah, that guy. Who, that guy, who? Did you get to see it? No, I, oh, someone asked me a question. No, that wasn't you guys. That was on uh, Messenger. I'll answer it later. So, the story is, would you like me to take your picture, everybody? I can do it. No? Okay. So anyways, so uh, the story, ah, oh, hi, Ryan. Uh, okay, so the story is that uh, I am at the Sanger Theater. I am in New Orleans, for those who just came in, and I'm trying to get a free ticket into the show. It's sold out. I tried to buy a ticket, but no, no, no. So uh, I'm hoping that somebody doesn't show up and somebody else is like, yo, dude, you know, fuck, we got a free ticket. My friend didn't show up. His wife made him stay to take care of the baby. I don't know, whatever. And uh, and then and then they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, why don't you come join us tonight? You can watch a show. And I did this before, by the way, and I got box seats before. I've gotten front row seats before. Um, I've gotten all kinds of crazy stuff like this. So um, it is real. And I'm using the video. I wanted to prove by using the video that it's totally real, that you can do it. You can go to a concert. And once again, you have to keep the math in your head. Out of like 5,000 people, or let's say 1,000 people, how many people are actually all going to the show who don't miss out, who don't get sick, who don't... There's a million variables on why somebody wouldn't make it to a show. And if that's the case, I get their ticket. People are happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. Salvatore, hey buddy, how are you doing? Ruben Moreland, holy crap, how are you doing, Ruben? Um, I don't know who's here and who's not. See, I can't really tell. I don't know if it tells me. Oh, look, I can tell who's here. So let's see, uh, Salvatore, Ryan, a star, high star, uh, Kent, uh, Michelle, hi Michelle, and Jesse. Those are the people who are watching. Thank you all for watching and uh, saying hello to me. So um, the story is, I'm trying to get a free ticket for those of you who are here. I don't know if you've been here the whole time. It's David Blaine. I don't know if you see that. It says David Blaine in backwards. And, um, and uh, I'm seeing, hopefully, hopefully, somebody has a free ticket. If I get it, you will see me flip out on the camera. That'll be fun. And then it would, be, it would have been worth it the whole time you stayed with me. You know what I mean? You'd be like, hey, there was a reason why we stayed and watched this craziness. You never know. You never know in life until you try. One finger in the air. I got one finger in the air. <laughs> this is sort of kind of like dump on Trump, but not because I don't have a toilet. There's no star walk of fame and I'm not naked. But you know what I mean. Hopefully somebody will give me a ticket. A ticket, a ticket. I don't know who's here, but whoever's here, thank you for watching. Um, who is here? Hi, hi. Would love to be with you. What fun indeed. Yes, Star. You have no idea. Yes, this is Star. You need to call me. I'm going to private message you. I want to talk and say hello and see how you're doing and see what's going on. I've been following your uh, Facebook feed. I follow everybody's. I know it sounds like I don't, but I do. Oh, I do. I know, like, intricate shit. No more than anybody else, of course, but, um, ticket, ticket, free ticket. I want a free ticket. Huh? Free ticket. What? Somebody, somebody, somebody. I believe in it. I believe in the power of free ticket. Hence the finger in the air. So for everybody here on the uh, on the feed, um, if 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 we're if this works, you do know you're gonna have to share this video, right? Like it's stupid. Like you can put the time code or whatever. Uh, and um, look, my friend, my friend just messaged me on me a messenger. He's like, "Hey, we should go to the Singer Theater right now." <laughs> so if this works, time code it and be like, "Yo, dude, you know, hey." Paul Carpenter got a free ticket at the show. Time code 7.11344, whatever it was. And then everybody can fucking freak out and share and like the video. And that could be like some fucking cool ass shit. Guy gets into David Blaine's sold out show for free. That's kind of cool. 
Look, I'm even, I'm even, I'm even, I'm even using affirmation right now to call it out. I'm using affirmation because it works. And I haven't seen anybody that I know going in, you know. And I, mean, I, don't, I don't know that many people that, that, you know, I mean, I don't know, I don't, there's only two magicians that I know of that were in town that were going. So, and they bought their tickets without me, bastards. You know who you are. I'm not going to mention names. So, um, hi Neva, how you doing, my dear? Um, for those who are uh, still here with me, for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, uh, we're at Sanger Theater. David Blaine performing tonight, sold out show, tried to buy a ticket, couldn't get in, trying to get a free one now, finger in the air. Now, I don't know if those of you who are here or have heard this already, but the police officer who's at the front said that if she got a free ticket, she would give it to me, which is fucking awesome. So, um, we'll see, man. I only got too much time left because the show starts in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So, um, it looks like, uh, if I don't get it in the next, like, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, it's probably over. And I might not get in. Although I might just sit outside and cry. Put that on YouTube. Yo, can I pull a cigarette from you, bro? Literally my last one. It's all good. Really didn't want one. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. How you doing today? Good, man. You? Come in. Trying to get in. Couldn't get a ticket. I'm hoping for a free one. You never know. All right, try performing some tricks. May work. Yeah, um, I was already told by the security to not cause a scene if I was going to be asking for a cigarette, I mean, a, 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 a ticket for free. So I don't want to cause any kind of like crazy, oh shit, oh shit, a whole bunch of crazy shit's going on right now. Here, I'll let you see it. Oh shit, there's more. Alright, that's normal by the way, it's not really a big deal. No hands to do tricks with anyways. That's right, right? One hand holding the phone. I could I could put the phone somewhere. I could find a way to you know me, I'll finagle my way into it. And then I'll even like I'll even record the whole street show while I'm performing, you know, that kind of thing. I could do it. Yeah. Right, let's see. Let's let's try it now. Watch. Let's see. I'll do it like this. Watch. Put this here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta put something in there to hold it so that nothing. Okay, we're gonna put that there. Oh wait. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Is, that, is that at all good? Can you? Hold on. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get it better. Hold on. Uh, all right. I think that's gonna work. Oh no, uh, yeah, okay. okay. Alright, here we go. See? Now I can do it. We're here. We're gonna try and get a free ticket now. Okay. I'll do it like this. Yes. It's me. I'm here. David Blaine's performing. And I'm trying to get a free ticket. I can't read anything if you guys are writing stuff. I can't. I don't know. Here, let me see. If, oh, wait. What the hell did I just do? Uh, no filter. No filter. No filter. What is that? I don't know what that is. Get this away from me. How do you get away from that? Oh, there we go. There we go. And if you guys... Are you guys writing stuff? I can't. I can't read what you're writing right now. Oh, there we go. No hands to do tricks. Anyway, Julian is watching. Hi, Julian. How you doing, buddy? All right, here we go. So I'm trying to get a free ticket to the show by putting my finger in the air. If you write something, I won't be able to see it because my thing's holding it. I can't really see anything. So here we go.
you magic? You do magic? Oh, okay. Uh, you look like a magician, that's all. That's why I asked. Yeah, no, no doubt. Did someone just say something? I think someone said something. Oh, no. Hi, Carlota. How you doing? I'm, I'm trying to get a free ticket to the show. It's a free ticket, yeah. Why do you have a... I don't have any money, and they don't have any... I mean, they don't have any left. I tried to buy one, but they wouldn't sell me one. So you put your hand up, that means you're looking for... That means you're looking at the international sign for I need a ticket. <laughs> Please help. I need... I need one ticket. We were that close! We were that close! <laughs> I'm gonna, it's gonna, it, I feel it, I feel it. Are you going to the show tonight? Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I, I don't know who's there. I, I'm, I can't see if people are writing. Oh, it was that Alan? I thought I said Alan. Alan, hi Alan, how you doing? Sarah Keller, if you're still here, I don't know if you are. I can't see who's here and who's not here. Uh, so, thank you for saying hello. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, there we go, live viewers, John Smith. What's up, Johnny? Why aren't you here right now, John? Coming to see David Blaine. Support the Magic family. What's up, bro? You're in New Orleans. I wonder if anybody else is coming out for magicians that are in town. I... So... Many of them. I'm not going to mention names. Whatever. A lot of people out there that should be here coming to see the show. It's David's only, only time he's ever performed live. You know that. I don't know if you know that. It's the only time he's ever performed live uh, and done a live tour in 15 years of performing magic. It's kind of a cool deal. It's kind of a cool deal, guys. Okay. So, uh, some of you have not been here, so I will let you know what I'm doing. I'm at the Sanger Theater. David Blaine is performing. That's David Blaine backwards. And I, I couldn't get a ticket, so I am now with a finger in the air. Hopefully, somebody will give me one. Now, the good news involved in this is that the police officer who is walking towards me now, I don't know if you see her. She's over there somewhere. She said that if, hey, if somebody gives me a ticket, I will give it to you. I was like, no way. She's like, totally. I'm like, oh, yeah. So that gives my chances a boost, which is good. The second thing is if and when I do get this ticket, um, I believe that there should be a shared video for the world to realize that you can get free tickets when you go to a concert or to a show and you ran out or some show is all sold out. And my mathematics behind that is based on the fact that other people will not show up for the show. Somebody who has day baby duty or somebody got sick or somebody was late. I don't know. A million different things. And so, therefore, I will get that ticket. That is the math involved. Hopefully it works. So, I have my finger in the air. Looking for a ticket. Click it to ticket. Click it to ticket. Did you get one? You haven't gotten one either? Are you looking for a ticket? Oh, you're looking for two. Wow, you're poof. Ish. That might be hard. Well, show starts in 30 minutes, which means people are going to be seated in the next 10 to 15. So if I don't get the ticket in the next 10 minutes, I think I'm pretty much done. Which kind of sucks, because I really wanted to see the show. I've heard it's really, really good. I, uh, I did hear he's not doing the bullet catch, though. I don't think that they could do it every night, because it was too dangerous. I don't think it had anything to do with insurance. I don't think David really cared. Uh, but I think that uh, it just it was too dangerous. It was just too dangerous. That's simple. He is doing the vomiting, the, the, the like the, like he drinks some kind of like kerosene and then he drinks water and then he spits the kerosene first. Yeah, kind of cool.
You're still here. If you left and you came back. It is a beautiful night here in New Orleans, though. There's a sunset, kind of sunset for you. And, uh... Still, still trying, still trying, still trying. Like I said, if this if this happens, it better be a very liked and shared video because it's kind of cool. Finger in the air. Still trying. Did you see deer? Did you see anybody on the other side? Did you did you ask anybody over here? Oh no. yeah. Put over there. yeah. There's no really no scalpers. No. I would look on the side wall, this wall, there's a lot of people that usually walk and sell tickets. That way? Yeah, like the side of the building. There's a lot of people that go there. I mean, I, that's what happened last time when we, uh, Journey was here. There were guys on the corner and guys in the back. Okay, yeah, thanks. No worries. Still effectively trying to get the ticket. Finger in the air. I'm really hoping that somebody has a free ticket. I'm gonna go try over on this corner because it looks a little busier. So I, I can't get in trouble for like walking. So I'll just do that. And we'll just go to the other corner. So here we are. Still trying. Still trying. Free ticket. I want a free ticket. I want a free ticket. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm pushing it out into the universe. Free ticket. So I'm hoping that there's other people in the universe that can sense that, feel it, and say, hey, you know what? That guy needs a free ticket. And we've got an extra one. Why don't we give it to that guy? I think so. I, I really, listen, I, I, I you know, you just gotta keep believing. <laughs> I swear, if this works, um, I'm gonna be a stoked, happy little boy. It doesn't work. Still gonna be a stoked, happy little boy because I had a fun time. I was uh, able to hang out with you guys for a little bit. We haven't done this in a while, especially not like a very long one, you know. I don't know if you guys are writing anything. I can't read it. Oh, let's see. Oh, there you go. John Smith says, "Hey, Paul. I don't even know if you're here anymore, John." I got Elliot Evans, and Kent Ray with me still. Thank you, boys. It's called spouting, and it's gross. Spouting? What's spouting? What's called spouting? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Elliot Evans, what are you talking about, sir? I don't get it. called spouting. I don't know what the hell that is. When David spits, oh, the spouting, oh, that, the, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, thank you. It's totally, it was like 20 minutes ago in the conversation of what I was talking about, but thank you for joining in. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's called spouting. It's an old effect. It's uh, an old uh, vaudevillian effect. And um, yeah, he wanted to learn it because uh, he had heard someone else was doing it and nobody had done it for a really long period of time. And so um, he tried it out and learned it. And yeah, it's cool. I think it's cool. So, what's up? Well, you only started reading now. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny, sir. I'm hoping we're going to get it. I, I have a feeling it's going to happen. I believe in this. So that's called an angry man on a, on a motorcycle. Either that or he has a small penis. He has to make noise for some reason. Hi, Ed Alonzo. How you doing? Nice to see you, sir. Thank you for joining. Long time. I'm here at the Sanger Theater. Wow, wow, wow. David Blaine is performing tonight. I couldn't get a ticket. So, look, hey, Ed, you know David. Make some phone calls. What the hell? <laughs> no, seriously, I'm trying to get in. And uh, so I have a finger in the air, one finger in the air, and we're hoping that, you know, it'll happen. But you never know. I do only know, like, I think I, I know like two other magicians that are here. I called Ossie Wynn, I said hello to him and asked him, uh, but I didn't ask for a ticket because it felt weird. I just said hello, congratulations, hope you're in town, would love to see you, you know, before or after the show. Uh, but that was it. And I really don't want to ask anybody else for tickets. So, and I wanted to try and buy one and then I couldn't get one, so I figured, you know, I made a video about how to get free tickets when you go to a show. Like if you don't have tickets and it's just hold your finger up in the air and just know that you're going to get one because that's the math in it and uh, so the math behind it is you know like let's say a lot of people buy tickets not everybody always, always goes to the show there's always one or two cancellations I'm hoping that I get the ticket for the cancellation police officer has said if anybody gives her a ticket that she will give it to me so that uh, the tickets not go to waste so that's a good thing meanwhile I'm hanging out with you guys and I can't necessarily do it right in front of the uh, actual location to be on the side, which I'm okay with. I really don't care. See more people this way. <laughs> yeah. This is what it looks like trying to get a free ticket to show. Sold out. Sold out, by the way. Congratulations to David for that. And to Asi Wen, who's getting to perform first. I really, congratulations, you guys. That's a very cool thing. I'm happy. I'm happy you guys got a show. I mean, I'm happy David did the show, and I'm happy got, Asi, Asi got to work on it. Very stoked for that. Kid from Israel who had, uh, you know, like absolutely nothing, started from nothing. I don't know if you know Asi Wen's story. He's cool as hell. Had magic tricks stolen from him and everything. He kept pushing, was like, I don't care. Became one of the better performers. Are you FaceTiming someone? I, I'm FaceTiming with a lot Can of you. Can I do magic for it? I mean, it's Ed Alonzo. Do you want to say hello? Can I? Ed hey. Alonzo. Wait, hold on. Ed, what's hey. your name? What's your name? I, my name is Ben. Are you a magician? I am. Okay. I'm bad. So, so okay, I'm Ben. So, uh, if you guys want to watch this, Ed, if you're still here, Ed left. Ed Alonzo Check left. this. You, no, don't do, don't do the ring thing. Don't do it? Don't do the ring thing. Don't do the, don't ring, do the thing? ring thing. What do you want to see? Uh, something amazing well, that you've created yourself. Well, I, I already know it. No, no. What do you Show want me to something that you created. I created. Yeah, if you don't do I'll your I'll show own. you a routine I created. How about uh, a routine. I will take, take a routine. Take the ring off. Hold on. Start back on. That's not your routine. I, well, this is part of it. Watch. We'll take the ring and we'll pull it down. And we'll get it to go through each finger just like that. Do you know Max? Do you? I just feel like I should know. Yeah. I don't. I'm, He's in I'm town. Are you in it. town? I am. I live here. Do What's you, your name? Paul Carpenter. I'm Ben. Do you know, uh, who do you know that's a magician in town? Do you ever go to Monday There's, Night Magic? Um, they, um, I thought they stopped that at Applebee's. Did they? I thought they did. Rock and Bomber still. One of my it. friends. I don't know. You know I'll Rod Cannon? I don't know. Or Tommy, or, Tommy Wonder or something. No, 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 no. Like. Of course I know Tommy. All right. I met him once through uh, his friend, um, uh, Rod Cannon. Who... Oh, I know Rod. Rod's a good okay, friend of mine. So you do know Rod Cannon. Of course. So, I perform with Rod all the time. I met him at I just Santa finished Fed. performing with Lucky. Do you know Lucky? I don't. I don't uh, know local uh, people. J uh, well, we you should, want me to hold that for you? No, I was gonna. I was gonna do this for you. Hold on. <sighs> hold on, people. I think I'd meet a magician this one. Of course you will. It's a magic show. You want me to hold it for you? No, that's a mistake. Good. Anyway. 
you have cards on you? I do. What are you, what are you carrying? Gatorbacks. Oh, okay. Yeah. That means you're a, a worker, at least. Uh, a little bit, yeah. All right, here, pick. Thank you. That's great. Perfect. Here. Got it. What do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. No way. I don't want to ruin this. I know what it means. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I got it. I got it signed. Yeah. Thank you so much. Whatever, bro. It's all good. Here we go. We're doing a magic trick. Yeah. Magic trick. Hey, here we go. He signed a card. It was the two of hearts. He just signed my card. He signed. He's. Yeah, I didn't sign it. He signed it. I signed it. That's yeah. my signature. Right, right. Put it in the middle. Yes. Yes. Show it to you again. Yes. I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating. Because then, it. if I'm cheating, you guys are set. It. Okay, so it's it. Hearts. All right, I got Watch. you. Watch. Yes. It's going in the pack. In the pack. In the pack. It's gone. Do I sign my fingers? Some, What's some people think it's on top. Some it's people think top. it's on bottom. It's not on the top. Not on the bottom. I promise. I will use this card. What card? No way. That's my card. I just signed that, and now it's here. All Can right. I try something with that card? No, no. Let's do it again. Again? More. Because more is better. Yeah. Look, I'm going to do it. We're going to shine. Shuffle it. This is your card? Nope. That's not, my not card. his card. Not, not his card. Cards. I'm going to sign a card. He's going to sign a card, though. The King of Hearts. For me. For him. For me? For you. Thanks, man. Direct you to my Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, YouTube, I LinkedIn, will take it. Instagram, Snapchat, Grinder. Follow you ASAP. Just kidding about the Grinder part, eh? I use Tinder. I'm not that way either, but. I listen, I don't judge. I don't care, really. Okay. Hi, Tim. Timothy. That's Timothy Paul. You don't know him. Timothy okay. Paul. He's from New York. York. Look, uh, do you remember the card? Yes. What was it? Mine? Yeah, no, mine. Yours. Mine. I believe it was a king. King of Hearts. Yes. So place in the middle. It's in the middle. Middle. Goes in. Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Let's go to top. I'm top. He likes top it on guy. top. I'm a top guy. He likes it on top. That takes a little bit of practice. <laughs> a couple of years of me sitting in a room Ooh, playing with myself. Artist? Oh, hold on, hold on. A couple of rooms. We're bored. We're bored. All right, watch, watch. One card fl- come, comes flying out. Comes flying out. Oh, wow. Ooh. It's not your card, it's not though. Mine, though. But it was cool. Card Yo. Card. Hi, Chrissy. Let's All right, so it. that's it's okay. It's not his card. We didn't really care because that wasn't his card in the first place. But we knew that. He didn't. All right, so then we look through the pack. Yeah, it's not in there. No, no, you're going to no. look. You're going to see okay. that there's going to be a card. There's going to be a signature, my signature. Your signature? On one of the, yeah, because I signed one. No way. Yeah. Yeah, the king. Yeah, the king of hearts. Oh, it's not going to be look, on mine. Look, 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 see, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, there's three cards. Got a signature on the back. There's three cards. There's That's three weird. Cards. There's three cards. Three cards? There's three cards. There's a signature on one yeah, of them. Yeah, I see it. Oh, Hope y'all can see it. Signature. It's all legit. One, two, three. One, two. That's... That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That was amazing. All right, here you go. Take it. Thank you. Can Call I show me. you some real quick? Yeah, if you want. Can I borrow one of those? No, you can't. No? Yeah, are, you only, are you taking one? one? See if I can... No, oh, I like it. Yeah, so you do like Carter Street. Well, I mean, I don't, but I mean... You don't? I mean, you don't cool. like this? Do you know the girl from, um, uh, what's her name? Karen? Do you know Karen from I don't, California? I don't know. She's amazing. People. She's really good. He's really good, too, though. Thank you. I thought... I figured I'd impress people with my Carter Street more than my magic. Well, you, yeah, you should practice more magic, then. I do, I agree. I wish I was a little better at it. Oh, I suck. That's all right. Thank you. I like it. You know what? It's, it's actually kind of cool. Yeah. They like it. Ken says they it's like nice. It. Ken says nice. They like my cardistry? Ken, Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll show you a basic snap change. Yeah, oh, wow. <gasps> well, I'm going to... So impressed. So, so nice to meet you. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. Well, you Say hello. And uh, Thank you. call me on, uh, on Facebook, whatever we're talking about. Put it in my bag. Call me on yours. Still trying to get a free ticket, by the way. Back to the finger in the air. <laughs> I will pay ridiculous amounts of money for a cigarette, sir. What happened? Would, uh, do you have a cigarette by any chance I can get from him? I do not, sorry. I was asking him, but... Oh, hi, Maka. I'm still trying to get a free ticket to the show. Magic. David Blaine. New Orleans. That's where we are right now. Finger in the air. I'm hoping that somebody will just be like, hey, you want a free ticket? Now, uh, for those of you who's just joined and have no idea what's going on, the police officer who is at the corner right there, this woman, very nice, she said that if anybody gave her one of the tickets, she would give it to me. So I'm hoping that somebody gives away one of their tickets because somebody didn't show up and I get to go to the show. I've been out here for almost an hour doing a straight live feed 
And uh, I've only seen one magician that I know so far in town. Although I don't think he either recognized me or B, didn't want to talk. And the truth is, it's like whatever. I love the guy, by the way. An amazing performer. I think he thinks that um, at one point or another uh, that I was talking shit about him. And I never was. I think he's one of the most amazing silent uh, magician performers that there is out in the New Orleans and or area. Uh, and that means world, by the way. Uh, his name is Dante. If you don't know who Dante is, go check him out. He is a New Orleans-based magician. Performs a lot for the burlesque scene out here. I'm asking Universe for someone to not show. Oh, thank you. That was very nice of you. I mean, not in a bad way, Maka. I hope that things are okay, but what's up, man? Any tickets? No, I'm trying to get one. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, that's, I, I know. It sucks. They're totally sold out. Yeah, and I figured, a person here. And, and there's nobody, no, there's nobody scalping. Ridiculous. There's nobody ridiculous. scalping. What do you mean that's ridiculous? That's a good thing that it didn't get scalped. That means that every single person here actually wanted to see the show. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm stoked at the fact that it's a sold out show. Now, can I get a free ticket? That's the question. Hi, Vale! How are you doing, my friend? I love you. Thank you for watching all the way from Australia. Um, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I miss you. I miss your music. I hope you're still recording. Um, so I'm here, for those of you who just joined, I'm here at the Sanger Theater. Let me show you. This is the Sanger Theater. See? And David Blaine is performing tonight at the Sanger Theater. Now. This is the line for said show, and uh, I tried to buy a ticket. I did, I did, I did, I did, but there were no tickets left. It got sold out, uh, and I think the cheapest ticket, by the way, which was all the way uh, in the like nosebleed section, was a hundred dollars, which to me is a little ridiculous. Uh, or no, fifty-nine, fifty-nine, no, ninety-five, ninety-five, ninety-five dollars, I believe, is what the cheapest ticket was. Now that was day before show, so I don't know if the ticket prices have gone up or whatever. Um, but nevertheless, uh, oh, Valley says, I'm doing good, my brother, doing very good, very beautiful, everything's fine. I am with a finger in the air trying to get into the show. Hopefully, somebody gives away a free ticket. So, we'll see. You never know. It could or could not happen. I'm going with it's going to happen. I'm still waiting. 20 minutes before the show. <laughs> Literally, I think 20 minutes before the show. Hold on. Literally 20 minutes before the show. Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Um, and I'm still without a ticket. Now, mind you, I've done this before. I did this uh, in New York. My friends didn't believe me. They were like, oh, you'll never get tickets. I was like, dude, you get free tickets if we go to a show like this. And they're like, no, you won't. No, you won't. So we show up to a concert. Show already started. And uh, we get there. And I had my finger in the air guy from the box office walks up to me and goes, what are you doing? And I go, I'm trying to get a free ticket. He's like, the show started already. And I'm like, still going to try. He walks into the box office, comes back and says, lady just left. Here is her box office. Me and my three friends, free drinks all night in a VIP booth at this concert. Amazing. So don't deny it can't happen. I went to, uh, I've done this a lot. Um, uh, I did this uh, recently at a show. Um, where was it? It was uh, in Florida, and um, I uh, I wanted to go in finger in the air, free ticket. So you know, you can always hope. Always hope. What's that? Uh, I don't know if I could see you guys writing stuff. Oh, okay, there you go. So. The show lets out at 10.30. Get your cab now, she said. So. Still no ticket. But I've got a good feeling. I'm still going with the good feelings. Oh, come on, universe. Come on, universe. 
calling the universe out on this one. Hello, sir. Come on, universe. I need you guys to, you know, do this with me. You know, like, if you guys join in, we, only it only makes it better. Oh, pretty penny. David Robinson, Flyboy, how you doing, sir? Uh, I am at the Singer Theater, Singer Theater, here in New Orleans, Louisiana, trying to get a free ticket. Hopefully, somebody has an extra ticket. You're looking for tickets. No, I'm, I'm trying to get one. I'm trying to get one. Trying to get a ticket? Yes, I'm trying, yeah. Just one. I just for myself. I'm I'm on my Facebook Live. We're trying we're trying to see if I can get a free ticket to the show. Are you gonna give me a ticket? Holy fuck. Yep, I'm not oh, oh, oh no, okay, okay, fine. Oh I thought oh that was close. That was so close. That would have been really good, right? But no. He wanted me to buy the ticket. It's close. Super close. Super super close. So, um, Still, we're still going for it. Ticket in the air. That was it. I called out the universe. Universe showed up too. Universe is like, hey, what do you want? So, dear universe, send me a ticket. I have a good feeling here. Max Chrome! Offer a magic trick. You're funny, Elliot. So, uh, yeah. You know, it's funny. What's funny to me, here's, here's really funny to me. Here's really funny to me. When someone needs friendship, right? Like love, friendship, be your man, all that shit, you know? And you're there for them. And then they, they like... They just get older. People get older in life, and they like they start making their own perceptions of what is, and then all of whatever you did mattered not. Why? Not because it didn't matter at the time. It didn't matter afterwards. Does that make sense? And that's okay. I ain't mad at nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because why be mad? If you hate and you're losing. If you hate and you're losing, kids. So I don't know who's here. I'm going to check. I got Michelle, I got Elliot, I got Valley, and somebody else who's not saying who they are, which is cool. And um, you guys already know what I'm doing. I'm still doing it. Man, that one ticket made me feel good. I felt like I almost got it. Like I was like, holy crap, I can't believe we actually got it. Those are the cutest little shoes this girl has on. But I think it's more the socks that make it, but it's cute. I feel like fucking eight inch heels. I don't know if you see them. See the eight inch heels? Those are like these. Wait, wait, hold on. These are at least eight inches. Crazy. All right. Still going for it. Let's see if Dante's coming around. Uh huh. And, uh, what's this? So we're now like literally five minutes from showtime, I think. Right? What time is it? Yeah, literally five minutes from showtime. Show starts at eight o'clock, and uh, but tons of people are still going in. So you never know. I mean, nothing. Yep. Ah, we're still gonna try. I'm still trying. I'm still trying. I'm literally gonna stand out here until every single person goes in, and then I'm still gonna wait. Because I have a feeling that there's gonna be one person that doesn't show up. Did you guys like the guy who was like earlier? Like, are you guys FaceTiming? Like, can I, 
can I like totally like do a magic trick for your crew? I thought he was a cool kid though. He was cool. He was a nice kid. He was really cute. He was cute. Still, still here. Oh, fuck. It's been a long day today. I got up at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Someone molesting my phone in my life. And, uh, yeah, man. You think that guy who has the extra ticket, who, like, had to sell it and was going to sell it, and he doesn't sell it, do you think he would just give it to me, or do you think he's just gonna, like, want to keep the money so bad and, like, not have a, like, not have the, the gifting heart? I mean, I'm just wondering. Because he was, like, ready to, like, give it to me, like, sell it to me there, but he wasn't really willing to give it to me. Still with the finger in the air. Nothing? Nothing. There was this lady who was looking for a ticket. She asked me if I was selling them. I was like, no. And uh, she's coming back around. You didn't see the guy? There was... Oh, man. It's bad. It's bad, kids. It's bad. Steveville. I love you, Steve. I miss you. We should call. Just talk to me on the phone more often. You never call anymore. You don't send flowers, you know, and I don't get the chocolates in the mail anymore. I mean, it's, it's kind of depressing, bro. You know, I thought we had something. I thought you and me were, were a thing. We were an item. Hurt. You know. I'm still going to say it. There are people who I know, who know people, who should be able to get me into the show. Mind you, I didn't really want to call and make phone calls and do all that and be all up somebody's ass for a ticket. Did you not talk to the... There was a guy out here. There was a guy. There was a gentleman with his wife. And he had tickets. Um... I believe it's the guy in the blue shirt with the tickets in his hand, the paper. Go talk, yeah, yeah, go talk to him. Go talk to him. Listen, I'm I'm the kind of guy that even even if I don't get the ticket, but somebody else does get the ticket, I'm okay with that because you know whatever. I don't know. I just but I she, she's never seen David and she probably wants to see it and I never see a cool ass magic show and I don't know. All right, whatever. I didn't want to. I tried, man. Sorry. Hi, Heidi. How many? Only us, only one left. And he won't give it away. And he won't give it away. Weird. Come on, just give the chicken away already. I say he should give it to me. I mean, look, the guy, you know, the thing that's crazy is the guy has like this extra ticket and he's and he's going in and he's not giving it away. I tried to even sell it for him. So I, cause I sent somebody to him. That didn't even work. You know, like I'm still trying to get in. Still trying to get in. It would be cool if I got in though, right? This should become a total viral video if it does. Should I go bug the guy and be like, hey, come on, give me the ticket? Let's try it. Let's see if let's let's see if it'll work. I'm gonna try it one last time. Before he totally goes in. Hold on. 
What's up, Max? Uh, are you sure you don't want to try? You don't want to give it to me? Hell no. All right. I tried. That was it. What's that? We had one extra ticket. You didn't want to give it to me. I know. I yeah. Hi. Right, say hi, Max. Say hi. Hi, Facebook. So good. Yeah. Your whole life is live. You need like a camera here. Always. So, uh... I tried to get in. This guy has to... I tried. I tried that at the gate. I love you, Max. All right, so guy has an extra ticket, doesn't give it away. Would rather, would rather just throw his money away. Makes no sense to me, sir. No sense whatsoever. So empty seat at the theater. So see, you see, you see, I was right. You see, all I'm trying to prove here. Which I wanted to actually get the ticket. But the proof here is that there is a, an empty seat. There is a sick There is Mark Shea. There's Mark Shea's right there. That's that's Mark Shea. What's up, Mark? How you doing, buddy? I'm trying to get a free ticket, right? Guy walks up to me and goes, Hey, do you want do you want do you want to buy, buy a ticket? And I was like, fuck yeah. And I was like, I was like, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And then I, I go to get it, he goes, No, I want the money. And I was like, and then he walks in with the ticket, never sells it. I'm like, you just, you could have just at least give it away, you lover. <laughs> hey, did you get my message? I sent you a message. Call me later. Okay. All right, so, folks, I still haven't given up. Fuck, fuck, I've given up. Finger in the air. I'm trying to get a free ticket. Nah, no, it would have been so good, dude. It would have been so good. So good. It would have been so good, folks. Where are you guys going now? Oh, oh, we're waiting for your son to pick us up. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry you couldn't get in. Yeah. I feel bad. I did everything I could. As soon as I saw one, the guy came up to me and he was like, I thought he had like a stack of tickets. I was like, oh, run, go, go, get it, get it. Because I, I didn't want to pay. And you didn't get one. And he, and, and he goes in, and I asked him right at the end, I was like, are you sure you don't want to just give me a ticket? He's like, fuck no. And I'm like, so you're just going to go pay extra to go to whatever, bro. I, you could make somebody's night. You could, like, you could have become, like, Facebook Live famous, but no. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, my girl? And uh, uh, so the story, for those of you who are involved tonight, um... Here's the ticket. So, uh, so I'm at the Sanger Theater. David Blaine was performing tonight. I tried to get a ticket. I couldn't get one. And um, and uh, then some guy miraculously pops up and almost gives me a ticket, but he didn't give it to me. He wanted to sell it to me, but I didn't want to buy a ticket because that's just not cool. And uh, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> and um, so um, I tried. Finger in the air. I tried. And so we're going to keep trying to the last, very last, 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 ultra last second. And then if I do get it, I will repost this video and be like, dude, we did it. And we got a free ticket. So um, hopefully, hopefully, man, hopefully. And if not, then we tried, right? And we gave it effort. We gave it everything we got. That's all that matters. Whether you win or lose is not the issue, friends. What matters is if you're on the baseball field of life. It's true. It really is true, by the way. It's not about whether you win or lose. It's about whether you're even playing. Right, this is a guy. That was a guy. I don't know if you see him, but that guy walking across the street, he's got tickets. He can't find his crew. And I don't know what he's doing with his tickets. So, and I'm still hoping that somebody goes up to the security guard. Don't tell me I got my ticket. I got my fucking 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 ticket. NOPD. NOPD, <laughs> motherfuckers. And oh, get it. Get it now. Oh, no, please. What? All day long. All day long. All day long. Oh, yeah. I got my free ticket. Okay. And let me tell you something else, my friends. We got orchestra fucking seating third row. Fuck you. Fuck you. We got into the show. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Hey, man. 
Oh, what do I what do I do with it? You're gonna you're gonna put form in the hole now? I'm gonna do that. I, I, I made it there, I can't end it, huh? I love it. Dude, dude, not only not only does she get me the free ticket, she's holding my bag. She's holding my bag. <laughs> she, what is this? Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Thank you, everybody who watched, everybody who stayed. Please, please, please share, like, and subscribe to my entirely badass life. Thank you, dear. And that's how you do it, Mark Shays. Orchestra, fifth row.